The 2022 Canon D Montero Nero 3 has been on my radar to review ever since its launch back in April of 2022. What attracted me right off the bat was the Bosch Performance CX motor paired up with a nice 750 watt hour battery and priced somewhat reasonably. And I couldn't stop thinking if the 2022 Montero Neo could overtake the Trek Rail to be the most favorite EMTB to utilize the Bosch system. I think Cannondale is brewing up something really special here. The entire Motera Neo line could possibly outprice and outspec Trek Rail's fleet. So, can Cannondale overtake Trek as the most favored EMTB in the market? The Motera Neo 3 is made of a full alloy front and rear triangle. It's a full 29er with 150 millimeters of travel in the front and 150 millimeters of travel in the rear. Its design also features the proportional response suspension, meaning that each frame size has its own suspension kinematics, different mounting points, links, and leverage ratios. So before we begin our rating system, please help me by hitting that like button as it will definitely help this video spread across YouTube faster and help more people on their way to making their first purchase or for those who are thinking about an EMTB upgrade like me. You can also support me on my Patreon page as well as purchase your EMTB supplies from Worldwide Cycle by using my affiliate links at no cost to you. All that info is in this video's description, so please check that out. For those who are new to the channel, here's a brief overview of how I score these EMTBs. My rating system is based on a 10-point average system. The bike will be ranked based on five categories, cost, battery, torque, integration, and parts that don't match the price. We've already scored five EMTB so far, and today we'll be rating our number six EMTB, the Montero Neo 3. We will place all the EMTBs on the scale, and at the end of the year, we will crown a clear winner for the 2022 EMTB of the year. Of course, this rating system is in its infant stages with lots of room to improve. Any comments and suggestions on how to improve my rating system is much appreciated. So please leave your comments in the comments section. I would love to hear from you guys. After all, this rating system is made to help you and the viewer to make better decisions on buying these wonderful and somewhat expensive machines. So starting with the price, the Motero Neo 3 is MSRP'd at $6,550 here in the US. While the Motero Neo 3 is not a full-on base tier model, it's $900 more than the Trek Rail 5, $1,000 more than the Turbo Levo alloy, $400 more than the Stereo Hybrids 160 race. And I give it an 8 out of 10. But you might be thinking, wait a minute, you're crazy. It's so much more expensive than the other ones. Why are you giving it an 8 out of 10? But I think you'll start to agree with me in these next categories. So on to the battery. Now get this, the Montero Neo 3 comes with a 720 watt hour battery. Battery. Now, if we look at any of the bikes that I've mentioned earlier that are cheaper, the Turbo Levo alloy is equipped with a 500 watt hour. The Stereo Hybrid 160 Race is equipped with a 625 watt hour. The Trek Real 5 is equipped with a 500 watt hour as well. All of these have way less battery than the Motera Neo 3. And if we take a look at which price tier the 720 watt hour comes available for the Trek Rail, we're looking at $9,000 price range. For the Q Stereo Hybrid 720, it starts at $7,299. And for the Specialized Comp Alloy at 700 watt hour, we're looking at $7,500. So in this category of battery, I give it a big 10 out of 10 for having a huge 720 watt hour at the low end tier. Moving on to the torque and the motor, the Motera Neo 3 is equipped with a Bosch CX Performance line at 85 newton meters of torque, likely the best rated motor and the most favorite motor out on the market so far. Unfortunately, my initial ranking is based on pure torque specs and I'm working on ways to change this section of rating. So for now, I give this 85 newton meters of torque an 8 out of 10. 
Next, we look at the integration. Again, this is another category that Cannondale has outperformed Cube, specialized in Trek by a far margin. They spec both the Kiox display and the smart system in a $6,550 tier bike. You will not see the smart system or the mastermind display until you reach the $9,000 mark, whether you're on a Trek Rail or the Turbo Levo. A 9 out of 10 in this category, a superb job by Cannondale. Next, we look at the parts that don't match the price. We add points to four categories of components on the bike, specifically the fork, suspension, drivetrain, and the brakes. Each point added will lower the overall average score. The Monterio Neo 3 has a 150mm RockShock Yari RC, which is a very nice fork with some low speed compression and rebound adjustment. An excellent fork choice in my opinion, no points added here. Next we look at the suspension. Monterio Neo 3 comes with the RockShock Deluxe Select Debonair. I think this shock is pretty sufficient for a 150mm travel bike. Personally, I would swap this out for a super deluxe as my first upgrade if I own this bike, but that's very subjective to the rider type. So a good choice, nonetheless, no points added. Moving on to the drivetrain, the Monterio Neo 3 is spec with an XT derailleur and a Diore shifter, which is a bit odd. Maybe it would have made a better combo if Cannondale went with an SLX derailleur shifter combo, but I can see the value for sacrificing an SLX shifter for a derailleur shifter in order to get the XT derailleur. But at the same time, it is also possible just to spec the SLX shifter rather than the Diore shifter. So a point added in this category. Next, we move on to the brakes. The Neo 3 is equipped with a Shimano MT420 four piston set I think at this $6,550 mark, we can bump up the brakes to an SLX 4 piston. So another point added to the brakes. This gives us a total of two points, which averages a total of eight out of 10 in the parts that don't match the price category. So let's recap on the total points for the Monterra Neo 3. With an MSRP of $6,550, we gave it a score of eight out of 10. With a 750 watt hour battery, we gave it a 10 out of 10. A 85 newton meters of torque, we scored it at an 8 out of 10. At a top notch job on the integration, we gave it a score of 9 out of 10. And a 8 out of 10 for parts that don't match the price. That comes out to a total of 43 points of 50, which gives us an average of 8.6 which places the Cannondale Montero Neo 3 on the runner-up position on the center Frankie scale. So, do I think the 2022 Cannondale Montero Neo 3 is worth the $6,550? A solid 8.6 of a yes, the battery size and the motor alone was enough to convince me at the MSRP of $6,550. And with the smart system at this tier, forget about it. Forget about it. It'll definitely be a tough choice if you're choosing between the 2022 Altitude Power Play and the Motero Neo 3. Although completely different travel bikes, Rocky Mountain does have the Instinct, which is similar in travel and build and price. These two EMTBs are scored very close and roughly $800 apart. Both are very well priced for its battery, motor, and components. So I doubt you'll go wrong if you're choosing between these two bikes. Definitely on my list of bikes to watch for in 2022. Love the 750 watt hour battery with the Bosch motor and the smart system. <sighs> I hope you found this week's rating useful. If you did, please consider hitting that thumbs up and subscribe. Also, you can support this channel by joining my Patreon or use my Worldwide Cycling affiliate links to purchase your EMTB supplies. Links are all in this video's description below, so please give that a check. And with that, we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace! Woo!